Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm sitting in my car today and that is because we are about to head out onto the road. Why are we heading out today? Because we are going to be looking for some properties. We will be looking at three different properties at three different price points. However, we will not be looking at regular properties like we normally do. We will be looking at something called private treaty properties. Now you're probably wondering what is a private treaty property? What is a private treaty sale? Well, a private treaty sale is one of the methods used by financial institutions such as NHT or any regular bank like Scotia Bank, National Commercial Bank, uh, to legally recover outstanding mortgage loans in default. So let me break that down in regular terms. Essentially, if someone has owned a home for however long and they are not making their regular payments to the lending institution that they've taken out a mortgage on for this property and after a significant number of time has passed and the bank has given sufficient warnings and you're still not making payments then the bank legally has the right to recover the outstanding balance owed to them on the mortgage so that means that they can advertise this property for sale so that being said we are about to drive out now to look for each property i've already pinned the locations of all three so it shouldn't be too difficult for me to find them i am pretty familiar with the areas and uh we'll we'll be looking at just the exterior of these properties and i'll explain why in a little bit uh yeah so i'm gonna give some information about the properties and more information about private treaty sales throughout this video so let's go okay so this is a private treaty property and it's located in iron shore nice neighborhood and it's a really charming house uh probably doesn't need much updating now of course we're not able to go inside but the valuation price on this property is 42 million jamaican dollars now the building is considered to be of good construction with reinforced concrete walls ceramic tile floors and pvc french windows the amenities included in this property are solar panels, a solar water heater, CCTV, automatic gates, and a water storage tank. The external area of the house is approximately 3,650 square feet. This includes the porch and the enclosed two-car garage. Now, as I said before, because these are private treaty properties, the lending institutions are not able to give permission to access these properties. We're not able to go on the grounds. We're not able to see the interior of these properties. In some rare cases, if the owners choose, they can grant you access at their own discretion, but it's highly unlikely. Now, it's important to mention that these properties are being sold on a as-is, where-is basis. Therefore, if upon inspection there is any damage identified, the lending institutions will not accept any responsibility for it, uh, nor will they make any attempts to do any sort of repairs to said damage. So, as I said before, you're buying it as is, where is. This property is located in the community of Ironshore, Hartfield, St. James, and it's actually not too far from the first property that we looked at. The property comprises of one two-story building, and it also has a self-contained cottage and a neat little gazebo along the southwestern boundary of the property. The building is considered to be of good construction with reinforced concrete walls and porcelain tiles. The lot size is approximately 6,000 square feet. 
Another important thing to note is that vacant position is not guaranteed. If the unit is still occupied by the previous owner or is tenanted upon receipt of letters of position from the lending institution that you are purchasing this property from, you will be responsible for ensuring that the property becomes vacant by serving a notice to quit on the occupants and pursuing court action for recovery of position of the property that you are purchasing. And with that said, we are making our way to the final property located in the upscale neighborhood of Caribbean Heights, Montego Bay. This stunning three bedroom, five bathroom villa is listed for US $2.1 million. Property amenities include a saltwater pool, as well as a jacuzzi and a full size gym. Now, even though this property is listed for sale, it is actually available for short-term rentals i will be dropping a link in the description below so you guys can check that out to see interior photos and get more information on this stunning villa now that we have touched on a few key points about private treaty listings you're probably wondering how does one go about purchasing one of these properties and you'd be surprised to know it's a relatively simple process one in which you can use the services of a realtor to assist you in making it that much easier. Now, in order to make a formal offer to purchase on any private treaty listing, you will need to submit the following documents, a copy of your driver's license or passport ID, a copy of your TRN, a copy of a recent utility bill in your name for current proof of address, and last but certainly not least, proof of funds in the form of either a pre-approval letter from any lending institution of your choice and a bank statement showing anywhere between 5 to 10% of the cash deposit. If you will be making an all-cash purchase, you'll simply need to provide a bank statement showing the full proof of funds. Now, there is one more key thing to note that any lending institution that lists a private treaty property for sale reserves the right to accept or reject any bid and they are not compelled to sell the property to the highest bidder so with that being said would you purchase a private treaty property let me know in the comments below